the Joe Rogan experience. Yeah, have you ever looked into Klaus Schwab's, like, dad? No. Have you ever heard of New Schwabenland? New Schwabenland? you never heard of New Schwabenland? No. Have you ever heard of uh, Operation uh, High Jump? I knew I was going to love this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no. Dude, well, it's, it's Operation crazy. High Jump. What does that mean? Okay, so uh, at one point, some people are like, what's going on with Antarctica? Have you heard of this, where they sent Admiral Byrd up? What's going on in Antarctica? Yeah. So the U.S. government's like, something's going on with Antarctica. There's some activity up there. We want to find out what's going on. So they send this cat named Admiral Byrd up to investigate with a giant fleet, uh, like a, just a, a, a fleet to go to go bang, bro. You know? When was this? I think this was in the, uh, when was Eisenhower in? Was it the 50s? It was, yeah, it was 60s? like right around, like just uh, either around World War II or right after it. And so they sent Avril Bird up to go find out. And according to his journal that they found much later, he, he basically met with UFOs, Nazi UFOs. What? Yes. Nazi this, UFOs. The Nazis. The Nazis had a like a flying saucer. Ha, ha, had made a deal, basically <gasps> working with inter. What? You've never heard this. No. It's the greatest story ever, bro. <laughs> it's the greatest. So story. So the Nazis ever. made a deal with the aliens. Yes. Holy shit. For technology, and the deal was they were going to work together. Okay. I know this sounds crazy. <clears throat> So basically, the aliens go down, and and Klaus Schwab's dad go down and meet with Eisenhower. It's gonna be like we could we could either do it one way or the other way. We could do it nice, or we can do it the wrong way. And that's where they say Eisenhower made a deal with these aliens mm. that they could kidnap people and do experiments, but they couldn't just do it anywhere. They had the, they had specific places, which were our national forest. What? Uh, yeah, dude. You've never heard of this. <laughs> <laughs> You're making this sound no. as if this is like a story that is commonplace. It, uh, well, for my people, it is. D D Jamie, count me out here. Have you heard the story? brand new. <laughs> You've uh, never heard of this? I <laughs> You've had... never heard of Operation <laughs> High Jump, bro? I feel like I've heard of that, but I haven't, not in this context. This sounds amazing. Please keep going. Right. And so, this is uh, where the missing the... 411 come from. The missing information? What missing information? No, the missing 411. What do you mean by that? Which is all these people have mysteriously disappeared in force. And oh, they don't you're know not how. talking about the missing 411 like information. No, no, you're no. The, about, so missing 411 is a, the number of people that have been yeah, abducted? Yeah, and it, it's all really weird because they all have like a, a lot of similar characteristics. German born, like German background, excuse me, highly intelligent. And it like, I don't know how weird you want to get, bro. But, I want to get weird. Okay, bro. They think like the, this might be some time traveling Nazi shit, bro. I know you're going to think I'm crazy, but it's true, dude. That's what they believe, and they made Who's a deal. These they, these they folk. Who, who? When who, you say they believe, who are these they? The people? conspiracy people. Are they united on? The <laughs> no, there's a whole different. There's a lot of uh, warring clans, bro. <laughs> there's a lot of warring clans, dude. But that one how is, deep do you want to go? What is interesting is how advanced the engineering of the Germans was. You know, it's really interesting when you think about car manufacturers like Audi. In Volkswagen, Mercedes, it's all out of BMW. BMW didn't BMW make engines for Nazi fighter pilots? I think that's what they first One started off they doing. They all did, bro. But I, mean, I think that's what BMW did, right? Yeah, one hundred percent. And then we were and Audi made Hitler a car. <laughs> yeah, Hitler had a race car. That Audi was never car. part of their marketing plan, though. Yeah, that would have been a crazy campaign. What does it say there? It's a nineteen thirty nine. BMW 801D piston piston no, radial. radial aircraft engine and national origin is Germany. So, World in, War II planes. Th in that year, they made World War II planes. They made engines for World War II planes. So this is wild, man. <coughs> I mean, IBM was making stuff to, for these camps too, dude. It's crazy. IBM, yeah, like they had computers. We've talked about that before. Yeah, right. What was that? There's a book. <laughs> I, uh, what did they do? They were make. It was the precursor to actual computers. It was like a uh, filing system to keep track of stuff. Yeah, of who was where and what into these oh, camps. That's right. I'm remembering this. And and then you, oh yeah, man, it gets super and weird. So that 
But the it place wasn't called IBM, right? Was it called something else? I think I think it was, was IBM. Book. Yeah, the book is called IBM and the Holocaust: A Strategic Alliance Between Nazi Germany. I mean, you and ain't Nazi fucking around with that title, huh? <sighs> That title is rough. Yeah, dude. <laughs> you're like, if you're IBM, straight you to the point. Like, Fuck, did we do that? <laughs> did we really do this? I don't the strategic why. alliance between Nazi Germany and America's most popular, powerful corporation expanded. Interesting. So the <clears> the <throat> area in, of Antarctica they went to was New New Schwabenland. New Schwabenland. Do you think that's why he dresses with the space? One hundred percent. Dun 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 dun. So they're all in contact with the aliens. I think, well, dude, I mean, it, it gets into, I, see, a lot of people think this is about power and money. What do you think it's about? It's spiritual war, dude. This is, these people got all the money and all the power. They got more than they could ever want. I think they want complete control. But that gets into spirituality, not just complete control, but lowering your vibration and, and, and jacking your loosh. Hmm. Your but spirit you think, energy. You think they're doing that? Consciously, or do you think they're doing it like uh, they're chasing the economics and along the way it actually becomes a spiritual battle because everything is a spiritual battle? I think it's done purposely. I think they're they're, they're evil. I think I think they're they're at low low there's low frequency stuff going on and they've made deals with people and things and that's why things going on. That was very ambiguous, but I understand where you're going with it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if you want me, I just don't want to get too weird too fast, bro. But <laughs> too I'm, fast. I'm like... We just opened up. We're good. I uh, mm -hmm. I 100% believe this is a spiritual war and that these people are working with dark entities, and that's what this is all about. L let's imagine this. If there was, like, uh, an alien race that came here from another planet and gave just a random group of people uh technology yeah gave them an understanding of things and how to do things how much of a record do you think they would keep of that wouldn't that be something that people would want to talk about yeah but that but that's the beauty of the internet that we're now able to do that we could never do that before so that, you think that's what the story is about the, the story is about they went there and they met with aliens and the aliens gave them information i mean hitler was really into the occult yeah, I know. like he, he would was. send people all over the place. No, he had a lot of bad ideas. Yeah, he had a lot of bad <laughs> ideas. But see, uh, the occult has a negative connotation to it. Not everything involved with the occult is negative. And what the occult really means is secret. Secret. So there's not as much That's around. That's what the word means. Yeah, it's basically no. mean. It means like it's hidden. I, I always associate it with people that believe in silly shit. <laughs> When someone starts talking about the occult, I'm always like, mm, how do you feel about ghosts? You know, how do you feel? About, like, when people tar start talking about, like, dark magic, I'm like, for real? For real? You sure? I believe in that there's some energy manipulation, but... I'm, I don't disbelieve. Yeah. I don't disbelieve. Listen, I like, I, I, I don't know what's going on. I just kind of read stuff, and I'm like, how does this fit into the puzzle, right? How does this fit, fit into the jigsaw of life? And you start looking around and you just start going, okay, man, this is interesting. That is interesting. This starts to make sense.